Okay, so let's talk about sorting in Google Sheets. So I have a couple of columns here with some dates and I'm gonna sort them. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna select the data first. I'm gonna go under data and here we'll have this option sort range. I'm gonna click on that and here there is this checkbox data has header row. Header row would be when you have a label or a name for a column similar to this column on the right where it says date. Now we do not so I'm gonna leave it unchecked and column A is what we want to sort by. I'm going to go A through Z, hit sort, and there it is. It's sorted. Earliest date on top, latest date all the way down. Now, if your data has a label on top or a header, whatever people like to call it, then you select it. I'm including the header. I go under data, again, sort range. And here I'm going to check the box data has header row because we do have it. And now I'm going to go A to Z or Z to A. I'll do Z to A this time. So sort. So now we have the latest date on top and earliest all the way down. So just make sure you pay attention. Do I have a header on top or not? And based on that, just use the checkbox. And if you do that, you'll be fine. Now let's talk about what you should expect when you sort data. Let's go here. So we have a little mix of different type of data here. We have some text, some numbers, some text that looks like a number, but it's not a number. See a line to the left. We have some blank cells here. As you can see, I'm going to add a couple of dates here just to make sure we have all types of data here. There it is. Now I'm going to select this column and I'll go under data, sort range, and then this doesn't have a header. So I'll do A to Z. So let's try to pay attention what happened here. So we got our numbers sorted here, right? Then we have this dates. And then we have some numbers. Now, these are not really numbers. These are text, if you remember. So now, because this is text, if you look at our numbers 3, 4, 21, 30, that's the way you would expect numbers to be sorted. Now, because this is text, the way this is sorted, if you look at this 4, it didn't go before 20. It went after 31 because we're basically sorting this as text. So we look at the first character and alphabetically it goes two, two, three, four. Even though when you think about numerically, we would put this four above. So if you have text, that's not a number. This is what you should expect that should happen. Then we have our alphabetic characters. See all the text. And then if you also remember, we had some blanks. Now blanks always go all the way down. I'm going to undo this so you can see. So look here, we have a blank here. We have another blank. Where is the other one? Here. So when we sort it, those blanks went all the way down. And interesting thing about blanks is that no matter how you sort, it's always going to go to the bottom of your data. So if I do data and do sort range and do A to Z, I hit OK. See blanks are going to be all the way down here. And then similarly, if I undo this and do sort range and do Z to A the other way around, I sort this while the rest of the data sorts the way we would expect. It just goes the other way. See blanks are always all the way down. So that's something to pay attention to. I'm going to undo this. And finally, let's take a look at these dates. Now, just to sort this again, let me just highlight this and sort this one more time. Select data, sort range, A to Z, sort. That's fine. Now, we have our numbers and then we have these dates 
sorted below. Let's take a look at these dates in general formatting. So I'm going to do number. That's fine. See, this number for this date is 21,186. This is 43,436. I'm going to undo that. So why am I mentioning this? Let's try to put a number like 30,000 in here. And then I'm going to select this. This time I'm going to press Command A to select this. And then we'll go under data and then sort range. And I'll just do A through Z so we can see what happens. Now you see this number went between these dates. So the way we're sorting dates, we're basically sorting them as a number. We take the serial number of the date. So if you take the date and change it to a number, that's that serial number. So if I just just do it for all of these. See, we're sorting these as a number, even though those are dates. That's what you should expect when you're sorting different types of data that are all grouped together. The other thing to keep in mind is when you have something like this. So if I take this and do data and sort range, I'm going to do A to Z. There is no headers. So sort. See the way it's going to sort again, this is text. So it's going to go D1, D10, D11, and then D2 is going to go below because after D1, there is D2s. Usually, if you were going to sort this, you would probably want to sort this like D1, D2, D3, D4, and D11 would go after those, right? But that's not what's going to happen when you sort in Google Sheets. Now, to go around this, what you could do, you could do something like this. So you could create a function. I'm going to use regex extract function and that's a regular expression function. I'm going to click on this text comma and then the expression is going to be D plus. And what this is doing, I'm not going to go a lot into regular expression. If you want to watch more about this, I have a video covering this function. Please look in the channel and watch that. But generally speaking, I'm just grabbing the number part from that text on the left. And if I enter, see, I'm getting 15. But if you pay attention, this 15 is aligned to the left because this is 15 as text, not 15 as a number. So if I drag this down right now and I try to sort this, so I'm going to now sort these two together. I'll go here, data, sort range, and I'll sort it by column F. And again, there is no head or row. So sort, see, I'm still getting the same thing because we're sorting these as text. These are not numbers. So I'm going to undo this. So to make these a number, I can do this trick of adding a zero to this. And then I drag it down and you can see how this now aligns to the right. That is a clue that this is now a number. Now I'm going to drag it down. Now these are numbers, so if we sort them, they should get sorted as a number. Column F, A to Z, there we are. So I'm using this helper column to sort it, and now it works out fine. All right, moving on. Those are some common basic things you need to understand about sorting when you sort. Let's go to this next tab. Now let's sort some data that has multiple columns. I kind of already did it when I had that helper column, but now let's do this again. So when you're sorting some data that has multiple columns, your first thing should be to highlight the entire data. If you have headers on top, highlight headers. If you don't, just highlight the data. So I'm going to select all the way from right to the bottom. So I go under data, sort range, and then because we have headers on top, we're going to check this box and then you select which column you want to sort by. And because we have headers, it's going to be easy to select. We don't have to look at ABC. We can just choose the name. So if I wanted to sort this by sales number, I would go sales 
And if I want the highest number on top, I would do Z2A, hit sort, and there it is. Everything is sorted and the highest sale is on top. I'm going to undo this, Command Z or Control Z. That would take us back here. Let me try this again. I'm going to go here. Now I'm going to try to show you how we can do multi-column sorting instead of a single column sorting. And what I mean by that, let me first just sort this by sales wrap alphabetically. So I'm going to go data, sort range, data has headers, sales wrap, A to Z, sort. Great. Now we have this sorted alphabetically, as you can see, by our salespeople. Now I have the same salesperson repeating multiple times here again. Now what I want to do, I want to do a second level sort when I have the highest sale for that sales wrap appearing on top of my data. So in this particular case, if I look at these, see we have multiple sales here on the right, and I want this 529 to appear on top, and then 368 would be the next one, and so on, right? So what do you do? Again, you select your whole data, data, sort range, you make sure you check this box. We first select the sales rep column, and that would be A to Z. And then what do you do? You add another sort column. And as a damn buy column, I'm going to choose sales and I want the highest on top. So Z to A for this sort. And here we go. Now we have this sorted by this column first and then by this column. And you could do multiple levels. So you could sort by sales rep, then by region and then by sales or whatever you want to do it's pretty much the same thing. You simply just highlight date, sort range, and anytime you're sorting by multiple columns, just click add another sort column, and now you have multiple options to choose from. So that's that. So sorting, as you can see, largely is very easy once you understand all the little details of how it works. But more importantly, I want to show you some things that you should never do when you sort. So let's look at this data. So one thing you should never do when you sort is just select one column. So if you wanted to select this one column, because I want to sort by sales rep, and I go under data, sort range, and I say it has headers because it does, and I'm gonna do A to Z, right? Now let's try to pay attention here. So this is this first guy and his date of sale is 224-2016 and that's $160. I'm going to hit sort and you see what happened? All of the rested columns, they stayed the same while these columns sorted by itself. So we essentially just broke our data set by doing this. I'm going to undo. This is our data. So don't select one column only. Don't select two columns or three columns unless you want that sorted separately from the rest of the data, which I don't think you will ever want to do. You want to make sure you select all the columns in your data from right to left, even though you're sorting by one column. So the other thing is this. So People have this habit of having their totals all the way down below their data set. So they go here and when they select the data, they also select those totals. So if you go under data now and sort, and then I try to sort this by sales, let's say, and I'll do Z to A, I hit sort. See now what happened is, well, first of all, nothing works. You can see that, right? But the reason it doesn't work, I'm going to undo this. It's sorting this by the sales column and it thinks that this is one of our rows in our data set. So because I'm sorting by sales from the highest number to the lowest number, it is going to think that this is the highest number. So it's trying to take this number and put it above. But this is a formula that does a sum of this column. And the moment it moves it up here, it doesn't know what to do with that formula. And that formula breaks. So if I redo this, see, 
Here we go. Now, this is a reference error because it doesn't know what to do with this range for this function. So I'm going to undo. The correct way of doing this, obviously, is to still select all the columns in this data, like we did before. Just don't select your totals row or any row that doesn't really belong to this data set. All the data that needs to be sorted, just select that and go under data, sort range, and just sort. That's pretty much it. So if you just follow those common sense rules, you should be fine. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.